Well, hello again for USCFSales.com. This is Steve Lopez with more on ChessBase 11, uh, the world's leading chess database program. We're going to look at maneuver searches again today, more about maneuver searches. The reason why we're doing so many videos on maneuver searches is that it is such an incredibly powerful tool in ChessBase 11. Uh, back in the days of paper libraries, you'd have to play through game after game after game after game after game in, in the vain hope that maybe these games would have a particular piece maneuver that you're looking for. With Chess Base 11 you can find these in just seconds. We're going to look this time around at Black Castling Queenside. Now there's a couple different ways to find games in which Black has castled Queenside. We're going to look at a small database of games from 1830 to 1899. Click on search. You could conceivably do a position search where you would have the Black King on C8 and a black rook on d8. But that's not a guarantee that this was a game in which black castled queenside. Yes, the pieces are on the correct squares, but it could very well be a game turned up in which the rook has moved from a8 to d8, and the black king has walked from e8 over to c8. So it wouldn't be castling, although the net result might be the same. So instead of doing it as a position search, you would do it as a maneuver search. And yes, you can start a maneuver search with a black move. All the ones we've looked at so far were white moves. Just click B for black. And what you want to move is the king from E8 to C8. You're composing your search parameters as we've seen in previous videos. Like writing a little sentence telling Chess Base 11 what you want to find. So in this case we are looking for a black king on E8 moving to C8. We'll leave the moves 5 to 40 alone. Not that big a deal. We'll click OK and in just a few seconds we wind up with 996 games. And by clicking on a game we can see every one of them is a game in which that castling occurred. And if you'd like to double check to prove that there are castled games instead of a king walk and a rook move you could just go back one move using the button to retract one move and you can see every one of these games is one in which castling occurred. We can further refine <coughs> excuse me, the search to do something similar by looking for, oh let's say black king moves from e8 to c8 with check. So we'll click the check box and now it will be a black king moving from e8 to c8 with check, of course the king isn't going to be checking as well you would suspect. Of course the rook will check the white king as we'll see here in just a moment. Click OK and we come up with a whopping eight games. Doesn't happen often but it does happen and it's interesting when it does. Click on a game and we can retract a move and we can see the castling occurs and of course the rook is attacking the white king in every one of these games. White has several responses every time, of course, which is the king can move away, or a piece can interpose, or you can capture the checking piece. So let's say we want to further refine this search. We're going to look for games in which white moves away. Now here's an interesting thing, which is you can chain multiple moves. You can create chains of moves, black moves, white moves, black moves, then white moves. The way you put in another maneuver into your chain is you click the insert new button which we'll do here and it, just, it repeats your ex existing maneuver. So what we need to do is change this. So we'll make it a white, we'll just say any piece moves to any square by putting in the wild card question marks as we've seen before. We'll uncheck check and now we've created a maneuver in which the black king goes from e8 to c8 with check and then white has to respond in a certain way. Obviously we're going to get exactly the same games that we got before. So we might want to refine it again to make a particular kind of maneuver. So what we want to do this time is we want just the games in which a piece interposes rather than the king moves. How do we do that? Well what we do is we set up a maneuver parameter where we say a white king moves from any square to any square. But we click the not button. And what that means is black will castle with check and white will get out of check but not by moving his king. 
So you have a white king moving from any square to any square, but by checking the not box, which I will do again, there's a little tilde here before the W, and what that means is that any white makes any move except for the king moving away. There's one more toggle we have to do that's very important, and that's this, that when you're doing a uh, search where a maneuver is immediately followed by another move, you have to look at the length parameter down here and knock it down from the default 10 to a lower number, in this case 2. That way, in this case, we get black king, castling with check, white responds with a move in which the, the king does not move, meaning either the rook is going to get captured or there's going to be an interposition. And here we go. We have four games, and by clicking on a game and making actually retracting a move and then making the moves, we can see there's an interposition. There's the castling. There's an interposition. And another interposition. And the same thing happens here. The thing to remember is that you can chain different maneuvers. You can have a black move followed by a white move followed by a black move followed by a white move. You can chain them together and by using the not button you can selectively narrow down the types of responses that you want to see. Till next time for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.